Before we start binding, we're going to go ahead and measure our holes. Don't forget that the cover is the one with the fold in it. Measure a half an inch on the top and a half an inch on the bottom out from the edge. Make sure that you have a straight line through the middle. Then go ahead and measure at zero and your cover is going to be nine inches. Half of nine is four and a half inches. And then each inch and a half out from that, make a mark. Once you have your measurements, go ahead and get your paper and your back cover and line it up nicely and get two binder clips, one at the top, one at the bottom. You're going to go ahead and leave these on until we are completely done with our sketchbook. Poke the hole, make sure you go through the widest part of our puncher so that we can make sure that our needle goes through easily. Make sure that you are careful and do not poke any of your fingers or hands while you are going through the paper. Go ahead and get the string color of your choice and get a fair amount of string. For this book binding, it's difficult to add string during the process, so it's better to have more string than to add some later. Go ahead and thread the needle and pull it through until it evenly meets the other side of the string. That way you'll have a knot on one end and your needle on the other. Go ahead and start in the back bottom of your sketchbook and pull all the way through. Then you're going to loop around and come back through that same hole. Then you're going to go up and in that hole above it. Pull all the way through, loop around, and go back into that same hole. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat this process. So you're going to go through the back and up to the next hole, loop all the way through, and continue on to the next one. Once we get to the top, we're going to go ahead and make our way back down. Loop around the top of the sketchbook and go through that top hole one more time. Pull all the way through and then we are going to be touching all the places that we didn't have string the first time. So you're going to go out and over that top and then flip your sketchbook over and fill that gap and repeat until you're back to the bottom. Once 
Once we are at the bottom of our sketchbooks, we're going to go ahead and loop around that bottom. Fill in that last remaining section of missing string. And then we're going to go ahead and tie our knot. I like to loop under that string and then back over and in my string that I still have and pull tight once and then repeat that same knot to make sure it's really nice and tight and will not fall apart during the duration of our sketchbook. Go ahead and cut off that extra and then you are good. Take off the binder clips and you officially have your sketchbook.